Okay, so this is the new Smart 4.4 and I just picked this model up um, a couple of days ago. Had a chance to uh, drive out at the weekend and get to know the car a little bit. This one's the Prime model and uh, the Passion, which was previously the highest um, model in the range, is now the lowest. And this Prime has got the Premium Plus pack, which we'll go over in just a moment. But as you can see, it's a beautiful looking car. This one has got the silver uh, tritium cell and white as the main colour of the car. And some uh, really nice 15 inch alloys um, with the kind of diamond cut finish and black and uh, Michelin tyres all round. So beautiful looking little car actually. It looks a lot better in the flesh than it did um, when I ordered it and I saw the pictures. It looks an awful lot better in the flesh. So that's a little quick walk around the outside of the car. Let's just take a little look at those wheels because they really are really nice. And there you go. Okay, so let's open up the car and have a little look inside. Okay, so obviously the 4-4, the big selling point is you've got four seats. And as you can see there, they're not they're not huge, but you know there's plenty enough space in there for two adults. Um, the interior on this one, you've got the white and black area here. This white, I have a feeling, might end up with marks on and fingerprints and things, but you'd be able to wipe that off easy enough. The rear windows on the smart car are these kind, the old-fashioned kind of pop-out type thing. You've got your child uh, door locks just down here. And then in the back, you've got an area of storage just there, so you can just put bits and pieces down. And in the middle you've got this console area, which actually does come out as well if you need it to. But you can put a maximum of a kilogram in there. And uh, you can put your drinks in there like that. So that's the, the rear of the car. Now these seats will also just fold straight up and over like that, which is very, very easy. And then you can just unhook the back of the seat to lay down flat like that. And so both of these seats, of course, will come down in just the same way. And there we go, they just clip straight back up and then the seat will just flip round like that. And then another nice little point is you've got the panoramic roof. And this one's just got the sun blind pulled across. Um, and to take that off, all you've got to do is just push it up. And then there you go. Beautiful sky revealed and the glass filters 100% of the UV rays that come through as well so there's no harmful sun rays that will come through there so it's great if you've got kids in the back for example so moving around to the boot um, you've got the switches just under there and there's the rear camera there by the way just in the middle of the smart logo let's just click that up and there we are you can see the boots not too bad actually You've got a little parcel shelf there which you can disconnect and um, as I showed you just now you can um, release either side of these seats as well. They both come down so split rear seats. The engine is actually underneath there as well, that's a Mitsubishi engine, well and truly hidden underneath here so you'll never need to go underneath there. Okay so the inside of the smart car then, really nice place to be. Um, obviously we've got our panoramic roof up here with the uh, sun blind as well which is just uh, goes across there really nice and neat and the steering wheel chunky um, this one's leather as well so uh, it feels really nice in the hand you've got your multi-function steering wheel features such as uh, cruise control um, you've got the volume for your stereo and also um, the voice control system which enables you to enter destinations on your satellite navigation for example and you've got auto wipers on this, which I always like that, so you don't have to think when it's raining, the car will just take care of it for you. And you've also got the sensitivity adjustment here, which will just uh, basically uh, make the windscreen wipers come on um, at varying amounts of rain on the uh, windscreen. Then over this side, you've got auto headlights, another nice little feature, so you don't have to remember to turn your lights on and off. And also this car has got daylight running lights, by the way, really nice little LED lights at the front of the car. Then um, over on the right hand side, just down by um, my right leg here, we've got 
um, the ability to turn on and off the parking sensors on the rear of the car. We've got the ability to turn on and off uh, lane adjustment warning. So if you if you move out of your lane, um, the car will just send off some mild beeps. It's permanently scanning the road to see if you're in your lane. The idea is that if you fell asleep on the motorway or something silly like that and you drifted out of your lane, it just uh, makes this beeping noise to alert you. Then to the right of that, we've got um, the ability to turn on and off start stop because this car's got start stop. And the way that works is that when you're coming up to some traffic lights or a junction, if you put the car into neutral, take your foot off the clutch, it will just stop the engine, providing the conditions are right. I think the engine has to have been on for a little while first to warm up. And also I think if you have your air conditioning on um, really powerfully, it won't use the start stop. So that's uh, this little area. We've also got this up and down arrow here on the steering wheel which changes what appears inside the instrument cluster here um, and you can see this car's done uh, 92 miles so far you've got the time in the top left uh, kilometers per hour if you're uh, driving the car abroad that's obviously handy and then the temperature at the moment and then you've got your usual trip computers and then you've got an eco score because the obviously smart is all about um being uh you know eco-friendly and so on so it teaches you and tells you how well you've been driving um, in terms of gear shifting and accelerating and so on and then scores you as a percentage of how well at the end of each trip or over your total uh, driven amount of miles and then you've got the miles per gallon there and a nice little graph the uh, coolant temperature of the car and then uh, tells you when your service is due next and so on um, and then moving to this uh, big area here in the middle, this unit is fantastic. It was really good on the last one, actually, but they've really upped their game on this one. And it's very modern looking, very smooth, nice to use. Um, you've got uh, the temperature at the top there. And if you've got weather updates, which you do get with this car, I think, um, via TomTom, because -Tom, this is a TomTom -Tom satellite navigation unit inside, you'll also be able to see all the weather. And you can just click on the screen, just touch it, just like you would an iPad, and then everything opens out. You can uh, squeeze and pinch the uh, navigation screen. Nice little feature. So you can just zoom in and out like that. So be right at home if you're used to using any kind of touchscreen device. You can just press the home button whenever you want to return to this. And then you've got your menu. And your menu We've got multimedia, navigation, phone, uh, vehicle services and system. And the multimedia, brilliant multimedia system on this. So you can uh, obviously have your radio and it's got a great sound system, by the way. Um, let's see if we can get some music on right now for you. Give you a quick demonstration. Sound quality is really good. To do more to tackle okay. sexual harassment Trust me to on... pick news time while I'm trying to demo this, but that's fine. We'll come back to that in a moment. So other features then, media wise, you can link your phone up and stream music via Bluetooth. Uh, nice feature. And so you can listen to Spotify. You can even listen to YouTube as well, actually. It won't put the video on the screen, but it will put the uh, songs that you're playing via YouTube straight through your system. Or you can connect via the auxiliary lead, which is just down here behind the handbrake. There's a little hole there to plug in your auxiliary lead. You'll also see a USB input there as well, which you can use to um, put music through. And then the SD card is actually being used at the moment for the satellite navigation system. You've got this little power area here, so you can just plug in your phone if you want to charge it. And then this little round cup holder with this sort of strange little area here is so that you can put your phone in and it fits without sort of falling around everywhere. So it's a, a special cup holder designed to take a phone, which is a nice refreshing change. I'm just getting back to the, the front of the car as well. Um, just going off onto the storage side of things. I love this area here. You can put your costas in there. You've got a pen holder and then you've even got a little pound coin holder there. So when you go shopping, you've got a pound for your trolley. And then down on the left hand side, you've got a little storage area there as well. So you could put a wallet in there or purse, something like that. And then you've got a lockable glove compartment as well. Not very big, but um, you can get some things in there and anything you wanted to keep safe, you can just use it to lock. 
and then you've got the sides of the doors a sort of a nice area to just put your sunglasses in um, or something like that but yeah getting back to this central navigation system then um, as you know you can stream music through you can also um, put video onto this via the USB uh, or the SD card and the same with pictures if you wanted to put pictures on here you can as well um, navigation is brilliant um, you've got the vehicle settings here it tells you all about your eco score and how well you've been driving from an environmental point of view and you can see that we've only hit 57 percent there from a distance of 46 miles so need to work on that let's just come back to here then your phone works beautifully obviously via bluetooth it just finds your phone connects up puts all your contacts on here and you can um, answer the phone and everything very very easily while you're driving and uh, not get into trouble with the police so that's the main system i will just see if there are, we can get some music on again because um the radio is very very good let me just take a little look here there we go so it's quite loud powerful and that was only at half volume you can also change the uh, sound settings as well and it has got a uh, bass boost uh, on here as well you can do your own um, bass and treble um, or just leave it as neutral so you can do the sound settings for each thing as well so you can do it for satellite navigation and how loud it is it basically does everything i love this little system it's very very easy to use and um, a big improvement on the last one which i thought was pretty good anyway so yeah that's pretty much it you've got heated seats with this one as well they're activated by a little switch that's down the left hand side of the seat um, so you can stay nice and warm and when you turn those on it also heats your mirrors as well so um, that's another good safety point so that's pretty much it for the inside of the smart 44 obviously the smart 42 is is the same i understand exactly as this it's just that this has the extra seats in the back and uh, obviously uh, a bit more space and you've got a panoramic roof going right the way across the top which is really nice just up here you've got your sun blinds and then a little mirror uh, there's a mirror on both sides actually no light above it um, but at least you've got got the mirror there but you have got reading lights up here as well if you do need them uh, so that's it that's the smart car 4.4 review um of the interior and exterior but what we're going to do now is just take it for a little drive and just talk about how it drives because this car is a uh, fantastic fun to drive and uh, even though it's only got this particular engine in this car and um, this is the 90 brake horsepower one this is the 898 cc um turbo model um, it drives really really well so it's economical and fun to drive so we'll take it for a spin now and uh, let's have a chat about that. Okay, so we're all started up, ready to go. Let's put him into first. It's got five gears, this one. One of the great points about this car that you're just gonna love when it comes to uh, driving it in car parks and put it into tight spaces is the turning circle is so, so good. I think it's one of the best in the world of any road car actually so uh, that tells you something it's like driving a dodger but you can really almost go sideways the steering wheels power steering which it wasn't on the last old smart car i had so this is lovely very very light steering wheel the gears are smooth and uh, they've just got a nice reassuring notch as you get into the correct uh, gear so it feels really really nice the gear ratios are good as well you don't find that you have to change gear every two minutes suspension wise I think they've got a great balance with this car they've got it so that it goes over bumps very very comfortably and it is a very very comfortable car to drive around actually and the roads are so bad these days you need that and yet when you're going around corners and everything you don't get any body roll so to drive, it's very, very smooth, nice and firm around the bend so that you can, uh, I mean, look at this little roundabout here. I'm just going to go all the way around this roundabout and just see how well this car turns. You wouldn't dare try that in a normal car. But the 
turning circles amazing. You can adjust all of these little things to just give you the right amount of air coming at you, which is really nice. Nice fresh cold air on a summer day, that's just what you need. So I think this car would be brilliant around town, but not just around town. Remember, you could drive this car anywhere and it, it's perfectly happy on a motorway. And also, if you're going to London, no congestion charge. This car doesn't need taxi. Uh, it drives straight into London in this car and not worry about paying that daily fee, which is a really nice thing. And obviously, it's perfect for cities because it's so easy to park. But I would be perfectly happy driving all the way to London here from uh, called in the south coast where I'm based. And uh, I know that I would be comfortable, safe, and uh, have a decent satellite navigation system to help me along the way. So overall, my thoughts of the Smart 4.4 is that it's um, very, very practical. Remember this, well I didn't tell you actually, but this front passenger seat will also fold completely flat. So you can put long boxes in this car. And you've got the rear doors which open to 85 degrees as well. So they open really, really wide. So I've actually put a child seat in the back of this car um, and driven my little boy around and it's, it's just perfect. He loves it in the back and it's very easy to get him in and out. And if you want to, if you've got a big push chair, you can also lay down the other seat so that you can slide in the push chair from the rear and um, you know, it'll fit just right. It's perfect for going shopping because you've got plenty of boot space to put all your bags in. Again, parking is really, really simple. And then of course you've got your little pound coin slot there to grab your pound out and put into the uh, trolley. So it really is a car that you will learn to love as you as you go along. I think I think I actually prefer driving this car to uh, to quite a lot of the other cars that I'm able to drive. It's just the, the car that you pick up to just jump in and go somewhere. It's really fun and uh, you know that it's very economical petrol you know wise. This car does 65 miles per gallon on combined cycles so it's practically free. So that's my thoughts on a Smart 4.4. I think it's very good value. I think this one cost uh, 12,500 or 12,800 pounds and uh, they're doing some great deals on finance now as well so yeah definitely worthwhile. A great little car and a big improvement on the last one. I mean night and day really.